Uh, maybe, maybe putting a little bit of too many eggs in that basket. It is a classic of Mako, this split, and one of his most deadly champions. It is the Nautilus first pick for top esports, quickly answered to by the Jinx for BLG. And we've already lost all the meta, super aggressive AD carries, right? The Callista and the Lucian, things like the Forest being a bit higher prior. Really only that Draven still being there if Tez did decide that they want to go towards it. But the scaling really being on lock this time around. Knight might not have had the greatest performance on the Azir, but again, I like that it kind of falls into that. That simplicity that we were talking about. The playmaking potential is there. But if you want simple and you want playmaking, my God, <laughs> does Tristana also fall into that niche? Tree equals happy win with Tristana. Uh, they get yeah. so much cohesion in mid lane. They can pop a play so quickly as well. Very deadly, and we'll see if they can use that here in that mid lane presence. Because the other thing it provides is you get so much priority in that lane, typically. And so you got to find a way to use that for top esports. It is that classic solidified rec side, though, for Ben. And so strange, right? Because we have very different picks coming out. I mean, you, you have support and jungle on the side of TS being shown for BLG. It's AD carry and top, right? So Bam's going to be a little bit different than I feel like usual, where a lot of times you're in the second base, you know, maybe <laughs> both of you are banning out the same role and we're really going down into the trenches of our champion pool. Doesn't feel like it'll have to be the same now. And BLG obviously being very conscious of what 369 was able to do with the Urgot. I like the, the denial. There are some very heavy prio bands that top esports have done some prep coming into this one we've seen consistently the ari the vi the Jax as well the rumble is banned by blg so they're trying to dwindle down some of those top lane matchups especially the ap there because of the tristana mid we have to think that there is a lot of prio needed for blg's support and engage potential here i like it denying the thresh doesn't really leave a lot of great op options down towards that bottom lane. I mean, the other common Jinx pairings, right, being things like uh, the Tom Kench. I guess there are still other ways of going aggressive if they wanted to lean into something like a Rakan or a Rel, but we're going to see what they go with. Hell, I guess even Enchanters are always possible when we're thinking about the BLG bot lane. Uh, definitely not being afraid of that, but those look like okay. are just going to have the, the flex of the Rel for now. I like the Rakan angle, but the Rel does give you a lot of strength. And still a little bit of flexibility even if we think we know where that one's going at least this time around see if top esports want to play aggressive through jackie love mako it's been three games in a row of uh two two v two matchups this time around it is the draven yet again for jackie love into the jinx of l and let's remember this time around he doesn't have to worry about a camille flying in his face uh, and a vi coming out of left field a rec side getting on top of him it should be a much easier game to play Draven, and it seems like for 369, he agrees. Hey, there's not a lot of great options into the rec side, uh, so he's just gonna go for something that is a little bit more standard, but Let's still, go. there is no player that gets me more excited playing Gragas than 369, the OG Gragas himself. Yep, a staple of this guy, and one that he has taken down many a top laner with. Also, just a lot of team fight potential there for him as well to set up into a lot of CC for their team composition. There has been a consistent hover of aggressive junglers There's for no Shun. Way. He does Ow! it. Let's go. It's a classic for Shun answering 369. It's his kindred. I'm a bit surprised because you not only are like you, you have Buster Shot, you have Explosive Cast, you have these displacement tools on TS that were already shown. But that also goes to show the level of comfort that Shun has on the Kindred uh, being willing to pull it out and help. BLG, they only need one more. So I love it. Give the signature pick to, to your, your star-studded jungler. I, I'm just so happy, man. He's been hovering it. He's been playing around it. This man has an over 66% win rate on this champion. He is a force to be reckoned with, and he will press the tempo of Tien on the Maokai. Something we've seen the Maokai in our playoffs be so good at is being reactive clearing the jungle and having those big team fight implications to here we are with an aggressive style from blg yeah and i mean blg ha having some levels of aggression there with the kindred but at the same time it's actually tez who are leaning way heavier into the aggressive aggression right tristana and mid's gonna give you prio you have the draven down in that bot side even gragas like you don't actually become super tanky as the game goes so they want to get action started from minute one
It has been the name of the game so far. It has been a slugfest in the early game that has led to absolutely dominant victories. But Top Esports are one of our best early game teams for a reason. They've opted into that aggression here for a game four that matters the most. An MSI ticket on the line, but a grand final spring ticket ready to go. If you can take this best of five, it would be BLG's second time going to MSI. And we've seen Top Esports never at that mountaintop. We are in a game four and it's Top Esports versus BLG. Let's go break those mics, all the loudness. But it's crazy when you look across this, right? I think we have so many big names, Lyric, in this wonderful league that we call the LPL. Top Esports have some of the biggest names to ever grace the scene here uh, in this league. BLG, some of the biggest up and coming stars. And it's just crazy that one of these teams is already going to book their ticket to MSI. That one of these teams is already be waiting like a final boss in those grand finals. Yeah, and it feels like, again, BLG, it feels like it, it, it has been their expectation this one. It's been their right from the dominant regular season that they've Twice shown hell again. All of these players, like seeing the international stage, except one except for cream and that's where i really feel like him on the tristana can be the difference maker i feel like it's an incredible pick in this meta on hell cream's only ever made it to double elim in playoffs once it was last spring and guess who was eliminated eliminated by mazel it was actually blg yep. that sent him to fourth that's four of these five players right it was only the only difference was egal last year so i think for cream especially would really be a great hurdle to overcome beat blg and then yeah. you know claim that ticket to msi take down the mvp of spring split Make good on all those years on OMG where he felt like he was grabbing the team in a backpack and pulling them across the finish line. Now this 2v2 kicks off and we have to focus because that could be a first blood for Jackie Love. One more auto. There it is. First blood and a cash out for Jackie Love. Maybe they get a second one. That would be so big. What we've seen before is bot lane leads lead to victories. Yeah, and just really nice coming out from TS. And honestly, maybe a bit of a... You know, inexperience on the rel because we haven't seen on play it at all. This split it has not been something he's he's lent on like like certain other teams have. I think really getting over ambitious with, with his positioning, thinking they could go for that winning trade, but in the end, Jackie Love gonna start rolling on his Draven. It's so funny we put so much focus on Cream, uh, but I think we spent a lot of time of this entire series praising Jackie Love for the last year he's had him and. Elk going toe to toe here. We see the pro view of Jackie Love. Yeah, just, I mean, having Mako be the one to, to start this up really by that space. And uh, I love the flash forward. Like you said, only one more auto, the 80 gold right there. Not having a lot of time to uh, get that <laughs> stacked up for the big cash, but. Gold is still gold the Draven. And again, like not only are they finding the lead, but you have a lot less threats to worry about this time around. So he should also be able to do a lot more yeah. with it, Tien now going to be on this side of the map too should very easily be able to turn this into a bot side scuttle all right everybody 50 50 oh he gets actually it. gets it so he'll be on the top side of the map now this time around tn will take the bot side he'll push this in try to get prio here they'll have a push in top side too so it'll be first mark for shun if they want to go for it i mean they definitely will right having having it right there um, like you said, it equalized, but still, TS, they oh. are not stopping. Yeah, there's a TP coming right in from Knight. So they actually try to go for the engage there on getting locked down. Tiana over the wall. Jackie Love doing so much damage without even having backed yet. So everyone from BLG on bot side, very low. Tiana wants to stop their backs here. Bramble Smash does end up doing it. Sapling over the side to stop their exit too. Tien's being an absolute menace. Yeah, and you know what? Like, Knight had to go down, cover that dive, make sure no one goes down, but this does mean that Cream's gonna start finding an advantage of oh Tien. God. Being even more of a nuisance. Tien said, Shun Hu. Yeah, He's and Mako, the... with, with, with the threat of Mako moving over with Hex Flash, I mean, Knight has to flash away there. So look at how much time has been stalled. And sure, BLG actually haven't really been losing gold or XP because Shun's in mid. I mean, they're losing mm. gold and XP down here, but Shun was covering mid until now. Uh, but it's really now opening up where Cream getting, you know, accelerating that lead, Knight being denied, and even Shun missing out on some of this. 
Yeah, the fact that Knight doesn't have TP to get back. Cream has a giant CS lead now and as well as very close to a first plate too. And especially oh. an experience lead. Like you think about it, he's going to hit, he should hit level six so much sooner than Knight. And then that, that threat of the all in is going to be there. You are not going to have an Emperor's Divide to be able to send him flying. Hell, you don't even have a flash to be able to get away if things don't go your way too. I want to see the movement now from both sides. Tian is actually going for the grubs first. I think it really behooves them to do that because they will have a lot of pressure if they can get the siege going with their composition, especially with Cream on the Tristana. So they take the first three. Right now, it's not being traded because Shun redeployed towards the top side of the map. So objectives will not be traded right now, and that's big. Yeah, it's cool. not not having the opportunity, not feeling the confidence. They, they group up mid first to make sure that this gets going. But still, I think TS should be happy with what they've taken so far. Actually, it gets all of them. Dude. Wow. BLG five manning top right now. What a decision. BLG won't find anything with that five man top. They'll actually move Knight back mid. And Elk actually just going to stay up here in top side. Try to scoop up some of this farm while on and shoot. Play aggressive. I mean, I think they acknowledge, right? Like, they've already committed this sum up here. We need to keep on farming. We don't want to commit to the 2v2 where we're going to get outclassed by the Strave. And sure, the Dragon's up, but they wouldn't be able to contest for the Strake regardless, right? Mm -hmm. TS would just be stronger. So I think overall it's a solid play. 369! Oh! Oh, the cask was there, but He's sadly, not it, enough. Oh my goodness, that's so close. And this is this guy's deadly instincts on the big man in the top lane. Classic Gragas gameplay. Cream going in on the night. Not going to find anything now. But both junglers pathing towards bot side. Jackie Love and Mako have a huge lave crashing into Bin. This should enable Top Esports to get the first dragon of the game, too. And right. Uh, th this was expected of them. They, they're already winning 2v2. They're going to have pressure in mid from the Tristana. Hell, even more pressure again from the amount of time that Knight wasted. Like, look, Cream is six. Knight's still only level five. So TS is going to be able to take. What should be expected of them, though... They're committing. TN? BLG are committing. They're going to go uh, topside with Elk and just kind of leave Bin down here. The Dragon going to go over to top esports yeah. as well. Again, I'm actually surprised it took TS so long to start this one up. I, I think it'd be a fair assumption that BLG... BLG can't contest. Like, if BLG came towards Botsa and I think opted into this fight, it would be so incredibly hard uh, to actually get an advantageous angle, so... I think right calling the end and again, TS didn't start it up right away. So going to get the stacking online just a couple of minutes later than you otherwise could have. And now it's going to be about if Shun can get into the enemy topside jungle and keep the Mark train going. They were well, there earlier. The train? I don't know. But uh, yeah, true. Right there. Maybe it's a training Mark. Uh, yeah. or I was thinking more like locomotive train, but I was, yeah, uh, me too. The top esports were defending this earlier. Tian was on this top side and kind of pushed Shun out of the jungle. So they've been just sitting on this mark for a while. He's going to try to move over. But the thing is, that dragon timing leads to a back for Tian coming back out of the map in perfect timing to respond to this move from Shun. And they were going to go for a dive. That mark disappearing. Ooh. As we can see, there was a <laughs> there was the threat of a dive on bot. They're going to get this, but 369. There's a guarantee of a dive here in topside. Oh, 369 going to get flashed on. He has the mark on him too, so this is big. And Elk gets the kill, soon gets the mark. Yeah, sadly, no help that can be given to him. Even if Tian ran through the lane, wouldn't have been able to do much, especially without the ultimate. So nice by BLG to be able to find the kill back, even getting more plates on Elk. So making sure they're not down and out from the shenanigans that have gone earlier in the game. We can see Jackie Love Dude. and Mako making their way up here now, but they might just dodge them once again. Dude, they got five plates first turret at like eight minutes into the game. Essence yeah. Reaver was completed like 8.20 for Jackie Love. And he is in prime position to do what he's done all split. And honestly, for the last year for top esports and carry this game. And I feel like the name of the game for BLG for the next, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes needs to be looking for traits. Uh, they really can't yeah. contend with where TS is strong at all. And this should actually open up TS to get a fair amount of objectives, right? We have Grubs coming up again in 20 seconds, and that really should just be top esports for the taking. Actually moving around this top side of the map to try and get all six Grubs. I would be very surprised if BLG just let them get this one because it feels like with their composition, that could be just a death knell. But top esports, prime position. They'll just start it up and no response from BLG. BLG know the position they're in, and that's why 
again, I like TS. More early aggression, you know, like more ways or more champions that just, just give you that prio, easy ways of starting fights. That they leaned into that simplicity that uh, feels like it will be key. They've already gotten five of the grubs and now gonna be able to finish off the six. So with that Essence Reaver power spike, with how strong Jackie Love is, they're gonna be able to just start mowing down the rest of these outer turrets. Lyric, I'm terrified. It's Grubageddon. Oh no, what will we do? <laughs> You know, you know, a little bit silly, but that actually hit. And you know who else is hitting? It's terrifying. Yes, right now. Oh, no, no, they're not. I, I well, just wonder. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's a cuddly cat there. It's fine. Jackie Love trying to get more plates under his belt, and that's the most important thing. Can Top Esports move this power point around the map and find more gold for him? As soon, we'll take another mark. That'll be a third one of the game for them. They get the engage topside. Oh, oh, they catch out on, and Jackie Love cashes in for his second kill of the game. Yeah, huge swing again. This is exactly what they want to be doing. Is oh, that close. was so close to them being able to find Shun, and Shun doesn't have flash, so he would have just gone down. But uh, that will now just be a dream for TS. It isn't going to be able to keep up, but it, it, it feels so hard. It feels so hard if you're BLG in this position and and yeah. where you can realistically look. look at that man, like making plays on the Gragas. Uh, he's a Gragas, he has sustain, he has the explosive cast to not only push you away or, or get the wave away, like can, can bring you in, the potential for the outplay being there. Cream, he's mobile, he has self heal tools. Like, really, it is such a rough position for BLG as we're going to see here on wanting to threaten oh. with the Q and just try and give room, but ends up getting completely taken down and taken over by Jackie Love. I'm not saying that the analysis was correct, but uh, maybe a little bit of rust in those metal links of that horse. Is that knight? Oh, a little bit of uh, engage on a cream, threatening the Emperor's Divide combo. But there is another dragon in less than a minute, and Top Esports will have priority here in mid lane because of this pressure. I mean, look, now now we come back from the recall, another BF Ooh. sword, another crit cloak on top of it. Like, our Draven's only getting scarier. He's on That's his way. Mark. Yeah, there we go. There's uh, that bonus range gonna start coming through now. Shun, I mean, Shun's really been on pace with these, but TP TPing. flank. They really want to stop this play because BLG could make a big change in the gap. Nature's Grasp gonna come across now as well as the Whirling Death. The explosive charge not gonna be enough to do anything. Cream can't get the reset there, so some big tools used. And Top Esports gonna try to take another turret. Remember, they have the bite, so they can just start hitting this and it's gonna become unbearable. They can also just take the fight. There's the Lamb's Respite buying so much time. The turret's still alive too, but here goes the health bars of BLG. One by one, they fall. Jackie Love is cashing in all day. <laughs> Top Esports coming out huge off that dive. I love waiting out the, the Lamb's Respite. Getting the kills, expanding the gold lead even further. And my God, it feels like we're on our way to five games. The LPL what? comfort zone. What's that I hear in the distance? I, I think it sounds like silver scrapes on the way. I don't know. I, but anyways, we're not going to curse anything. Uh, I think the fact that we have seen a resurgence from teams in this series every time there is a loss the blue side advantage really coming into bear but it's been this bot lane that has decided every game so far it really has and again we're gonna see the play here i thought it looked a little bit rough he has the magnets from oh. the but mako gets lucky survives on a sliver and then it's just so easy because again they have enough damage i mean especially with cream here too the amount of dps and burst between these two is absolutely ridiculous two items now for Jackie Love, the first it's 14 minutes of the finally, game. Finally finished for Elk. That's just unfair. His cheat codes enabled right now. <laughs> it feels like if you ever played some arcade game. Uh, Jackie Love is I having a like, great time. I feel like BLG have no one but themselves to blame. You remember earlier when you said you wanted to see one of these bot lanes lean into scaling? You don't do that. You don't disrespect <laughs> oh, the other no. bot lane. It comes oh, back to fight me. In this matchup, you don't. You like, like, look at these four names. You Just fight it. at level one and see what happens. Ooh, engage on on though. They have so much damage. They didn't stop the crash down. The cask over the top at three <laughs> six nine. I do love getting the final cask in there, making sure he gets himself on the board too. As uh, BLG now oh. they're trying to run them down. They kind of can't get the engage there. Bin was a little bit behind the play on the side. Here comes the nature's grafts in from Tian. 
Ooh, they got the Sundays. Oh, Jackie Love just did half his health in one auto attack. Oh, nice play. 369. Getting caught now. Okay, Elk gets excited. Knight gets a kill. They get a little bit of gold back. Top esports overextend. But back at the lair. It's Kareem taking a side lane turret. Only gets about half of them as On's coming to try and get the engage here. And this is, I mean, like, I love Tristana for this reason, right? You, you push side so well. You team yep. fight so incredibly well. You open up so many more jungle options. You're a flex pick. I, I think any draft that can get this really just open up so well. I like what TS did. You get a one for one. You get a side lane turret off of it, too. Uh, you at least get pressure in a side lane. And now getting a Rift Herald on top of it. So only furthering their gold lead. And I just want to keep reminding everyone, they, they have six scrubs. So this, yep. when that Rift Herald goes down and they go for that push, they, they might be able to take a lot if, if BLG aren't in the right place on the map. They also have 100% objective control here, at least neutral objective control. And that hasn't been the case in any of the games so far for either team, honestly. It's been very back and forth. So this could be a, a, a sign of the times of change in here. Top Esports taking advantage. Maybe a little bit of that momentum. It's a five and no, almost three item. Jackie Love comes back to the lane. They can continue to press their advantage here. Yeah, and it's... Again, you don't even really have like a, a whole ton of CC. Like, okay, bin bin knock up. We have the shuffle from night, and then on, you know, a majority of his kit generally. But finding access onto the Draven with any of those is going to be pretty hard. I feel like your best bet is is actually night, being able yeah. to get like a, a nice shuffle in there. But he's been very hesitant on pulling the trigger of the last two, which makes sense, right? BLG were never in great positions, but it really might come down to him. And who knows? After this, I mean, with how this is going, BLG might even have to just rethink. This is your pick altogether. Knight has not been able to find any impact so far. And the Tristana finally making it through draft here. Yeah. One big sticking point for Cream. Taking a little bit of the pressure into his hands. His you want free shoulders. prio? You want free prio? You want free push? You Tristana's, Tristana. giving it to you. Tristana's giving it to you. We've seen it be All so right. true. Ooh, ooh. Jackie Love, he has flash, but he mistimed it. And now Jackie Love gonna go down and shut down to Elk. My God, they just gave that animal so much gold. <laughs> we said it, it had to be Knight. It had to be Knight with the shuffle. Does manage to find it. Like you said, Jackie Love sadly not able to get out of there with the flash. So they do manage to get a pretty nice pick. And again, when you're this far behind this BLG, and right the map is the way it is there's no dragon there, there's no top side objective like you're just happy for the reprieve you're happy for the shutdown as well yeah. jackie love was worth a pretty penny you're, you're gonna be taking that any day of the week unfortunately elk still couldn't get his second item completed there so still very far behind on jackie love they're gonna need a couple more of those but no more bounty on jackie love's head we do get second item completed for 369 as well. They are going full scaling with him as well and AP. So love to see that because they can find consistent engages through him. Oh, he's going to have to... Actually, no one no one nearby. He's probably <laughs> completely he's fine. fine. I guess Cream could move down, but that would be kind of risky and potentially open yourself up to get collapsed on from both sides. LT. They have a lot of damage. You have to remember, they still are a double marksman comp here. Nature's Grasp going to catch on to two. Knockback with Tien leading the charge. Here comes Cream. He's going to rocket jump to victory here. Soon going to use the Lambs respect. He does have a push out there. Oh, 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 oh. The bomb just in time. And Top Esports have been destroying this game number four. And that's why we question the Kindred, right? You're picking it into the Buster Shot and to the Explosive Task. So... There's a, a lot of potential for you to not find the value out of that that you were hoping for. And now from Tez, I love it. You've got top turret, pivot to mid with this Herald. They're going to force this one down, and it's going to lead into a great timing for Drake. Yeah, I mean, they're 9,000 oh. gold up, almost a little bit more now. The turret goes down, dragon spawning right now, but actually, Cream not going to have a lot of health to come back to. He does have TP. We need to get the reset off the top esports already in position. Problem is Shun isn't here, so this would still only end up being a 4v4, even if BLG were like, hey, let's go, let's pull the trigger. I'm gonna move in. Look at 369. A second item also completed for Cream. Bin on the side. They have double flanks going. Who's gonna have the more effective one? Cream catches out Bin on the side now. They're in the pit. Could be a 50-50, but on is getting knocked away. There's Shun oh, in the back. Big thanks. shuffle from Knight. They get one down, and now guess who's excited? It's Elk. They are on him though. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Knight's taking down Cream. How is he still going? BLG! They fight back from the brink! They take everybody! And that's
It's a four for three! And ended up being so close. With Cream only going down to the end, but somehow BLG pull it off. Maybe they aren't gonna have to rethink the Azir because Knight finds the shuffle. The get excited comes through, and now a Drake going to be able to be picked up for BLG side. Things looked a little bit dicey to start off with with the Tristana. Oh. Finding some nice damage, but it's right here. Emperor's Divide comes through, no flash. Jackie Love and Cream both carry just getting pushed in. There's the get excited coming out from the Jinx. And this is where it was like, all right, Cream, time for you to pop off. Knight buying a ton of time with the Stasis. Dragon, <laughs> the dragon. MVP. Exactly, the Dragon actually kind of being on go. both teams. <laughs> he changes sides, a bit of a fair weather fan. Some would say only roots for you when you're popular. But in the end, BLG did come out on top. Again, they are still in such a hole though. The TS still maintain control of the map, but hey, every one of those counts, right? Like this yeah. is this is getting closer and closer in terms of the, the kills. You've now stopped the dragon stacking, but oh well, here's about dragons. It's Baron time. If we know top esports is that they want to try to 50-50 these parents, they aren't going to take that now. They're going to take the fight. Nice flash onto Bin. Bin's in trouble. That's a big corridor, triple, quadruple knockback, and now the respite is going to be huge. They actually get some damage onto the backside here. Cream has a little bit himself. He could rocket jump over the edge. BLG with Elk at the helm is starting to get to the point that Jinx matters. I will say though, Elk was not uh, a concern in that fight, right? It was 369, I think Tian and the other ones who were just like, n not committing, but just, you know, moseying their way on over to be like, hey, you can't walk in. You don't get to come over here. Hey, can't do that. And, uh, not that's how they were able to find their first one, but still. Round two, Or before fight. here. Ooh, he misses uh, the Shadow Strike here. It's a little bit rough. Now on, that reset was just around the corner for Cream. Not gonna find it though. On has to back away. BLG tried to find something, can't do it. And Top Esports, they now have a three item Jackie Love. They will force this Baron every time they get. Again, the problem is Tez have the damage, but BLG have the range, which is how BLG are making this so annoying for Top Esports to be able to commit with. You don't even have the Maokai ult, so turning becomes a lot harder. And yeah, they can, without those tools, without some of those key ults, they, they really just can't commit or they can just get poked out. Ooh, top esports playing on the knife's edge here. Jackie Love was stepping up, and there is a length of engage for BLG. Can be very detrimental to his health. We will get the reset coming through here from top esports, so things quiet down for just a little bit. But BLG are showing life. This is the first game of the series that has felt like there is some possibility from the other side that is losing to have some comeback potential as time goes on. And I think a lot's going to come down to that last straight being taken away because now you're going to have to wait another seven-ish minutes to be able to get to soul point, to, to have soul, and then again, you're waiting another five minutes after that to have an elder fight. And that's even saying that, that TS would be the one to get those next two drakes, right? So you're going to be able to buy more time for Elk to keep picking up his items. Shun's only going to get more marks. He's going to get more damage. He's going to get more range. And TS, sure, their comp does have a lot of engage, but still, BLG have disengage too. Like, they can use the Emperor's Divide for that. They have tools like Shun's ult to also be able to survive, even if there are counters there for TS. <laughs> so I agree. Like, it, it, it is getting closer as this game goes on because of the, the comp that BLG have gone with, because of that range. Look at the way they're playing those two, just kind of waiting off in the bushes. Ooh, a collector completed for Shun. So second item there, second item for a majority of BLG. Top Esports struggling to find vision control on the map. BLG continuously contest them. The Baron is still there. And if we know Top Esports, it's that they are itchy with that trigger finger. Oh, they're going to have to back off. Like, if you're committing 369 to pushing bot, you oh just commit him to God. the turret. BLG aren't doing anything here. It's like being a little bit overzealous. Now, now is when you should start making those postures right with Knight showing down on the bot way, but after losing all that health, it feels like the time is gone, but hey, doesn't seem like it's about the Baron. Seems like it's just about stalling for more time with Dragon <laughs> coming up in 50 seconds. Oh, oh, Cream, Cream, Cream. He doesn't have Flash yet. It's coming up very soon. They almost trade their lives. Ooh, not gonna find it. Prey Seeker not there. The Whirling Death, not gonna find Shun. They were so close to going down right before a pivotal objective. Yeah, now both gonna have to go for the reset. Cream luckily does have the teleport. Actually, still 27 seconds, so it doesn't even seem like it will be needed. But both teams now making it up towards this top side. It looks like Tez may be thinking about collapsing. 
Oh, they're going to TP. That's a double TP actually coming from top. They That's have not the close. angle. Nature's Grasp going to actually connect. They get the TP in from Knight as a response. All five members of top esports around here. Dragon is spawning right now, but they want to force their hand around the Baron Pit. The engage comes from Mako, but they are a little bit split here. Elk does a decent amount of damage on the poke, but they can't get into the pit this way, so they have to walk around. I gotta say, the idea seems kind of half-baked with, with, with the vision that they had. I mean, you're not getting your soul laners anywhere near close enough to be able to follow up Tien's ultimate. So, all right, we, we, we pull one TP, but we use two. They have tempo going down towards Drake first, but at the same time, I feel like BLG have delayed enough time in this game where they're fine. Yeah. Like, oh, all right, you take that. We're, we're getting close to LDR for blg we just saw another item finished up for night with the frozen heart so they're, they're they're getting onto those those three item points and now there it is lord dom's finished up for elk god that's terrifying top esports they have their fight cut out for them they might have the late game win condition of those six grubs to help them burst down those turrets but you gotta win the fights and i think knight is gonna have a lot more of a say as he gets tankier and tankier against Jackie Love and Cream. They will not be able to stand up to a fight against him. They'll have to really find a way to position around the engage of Knight, but also his damage. Knight again, like slow early game, but has really found a way to make his presence known the longer this game's gone on. Cream, kind of the opposite. A lot of presence early. We haven't seen the same since this game's kicked off in the mid game. Or Cream, it would be his first international appearance if he could win this game and then, you know, get to game five and give Top Esports that hope. And for BLG, it would be a making good of their summer split. It would be a grand finals appearance. It would be a second MSI in a row. Top Esports positioning for the fight. The cast could come through at any moment from 369. They go for the engage on Mako. Mako trapped down, though. Cast comes through. Big nature's grass to catch out multiple members. Oh, oh my god, On might have just had the main major play. Here comes Knight. He wants the engage. He doesn't find Cream. But guess what? BLG are fighting tooth and nail. And they have cut down this lead by a huge margin. It's a triple kill for BLG. And they're onto the Baron. I think this will really be the turning point of the game because now that they have the Baron with their composition, they're going to make such good use of this objective. You can see Ben even wanting to follow 369 around, maybe take another another member of Tez. Ooh, we got him. <laughs> you got to be careful, Ben. This is an AP 369 Gragas. Oh, yeah, Ben. Uh, they will just buy time for Knight to get over here. And 369 can't take a giant fight like that. He'll get his shield up, gets a little body slam out of the way, and Elk gets another kill for himself. And he has now surpassed Jackie Love. He's 8-2, and, and a big fight from BLG all led off by On. Now we're going to see here. I mean, they were hoping to find an engage. I got to be honest, I feel like a bit of a wasted cask coming out from 369 to just try and separate the front line when you got to save that, but there it is. The Magnet Storm drawing all of TES and chain that into the rocket so Elk can get excited and just start running them all down. And I mean, what could Jakulev even really do here? It ends up being such a, such a chaotic sprawl. Uh, a lot coming from that engage from on. And again, I know we talked about it earlier in the series, but uh, this guy has been such a saving grace of BLG. On has really made his stamp. I know Missing has talked about him. I know multiple supports across the LPL have talked about him. But him and Elk have been so in sync in their domination at the hands of BLG with BLG. And Elk is going to be in a prime position, but On with this rel that we talked about in draft that's not a normalcy for him has and, made some difference making plays. And he did struggle on, right? Because, I mean, this this game has not necessarily been a portrait of, hey, On's had a super insane game, right? But finding those clutch moments to make an impact is what it's all about. And this, again, I, I really feel like BLG here are in such a great position with the Kindred and the Jinx just be able to continue to siege down. You're eating those turrets. words, Lyric. The scaling hyper carry, it's coming to bear. <laughs> and Elk will just be able to use this to uh, take down a tier two and maybe even crash into this one. They do still have the Baron for about a minute and 10 seconds. The BLG have withstood the storm. They will still need to fight at these next objectives as Knight's getting collapsed on, but there is about a minute and 10 seconds for another Dragon. Still top esports on soul point, even if we are at an even game state. Also curious to see where Shun is at in terms of the marks. I mean, after how the early game went, uh, we never really 
We didn't pan over the BLG players' perspectives all that much. After We've been again, fighting, how, Lyric. We've been how fighting. Dominating, exactly how dominating of a start they had with, with all the aggression that there was. But, right, I mean, he we saw early game. He got the first one. I know he's picked up at least a couple after that. Every three more is just even more range that you'll have to contend with. They have this ban. They're just going to keep sieging down. The saving grace of top esports is they have veterancy at their side. They have world championships at their side. They can stick in these tough, pressureful moments and still find the fight they need. Tien wants to get that engage on the side. Look at this angle. They actually have a good one here. 369 over the top here with the cast. They get him into the pit, but that's the respite coming through, and it saves so much time, so much damage. Oh, but here comes the resets oh. from Cream, and Cream is popping up now. He was the last puzzle piece that Top Esports needed this season, and they completely wipe BLG. And it was enough. Now looking at these death timers, I wonder how much they can get down to the base. Maybe at least get an inhibitor. But that should be it. Mako trying to go on the hunt, trying to stop Bin from, from going back. But he does manage to do so in the end. I think he saves it because of that. He's very tanky. On up in six seconds. One push. They have the they six rubs. They have the Tristana. Oh, they do. You're right. They are on the verge of pushing us to Silver Scrape. But oh, here comes the engage. They, they have so much damage with Cream, though. He does so much. If he can Elk's dodge out of the engage, three. look at him go. He's got one, but they will back off after that. The Nexus Tower still alive. No! Oh! It's not enough. Cream and Top Esports make it out alive. They do lasting damage to BLG. Uh, I, it feels like the wrong choice, though. You had to, you had to be able to turn and, and take that dragon. That would have been Soul. Would have been sold for TS. It still, funnily enough, might be, huh? Yeah, BLG looks like it made, is. Well, I'm guessing BLG reading that maybe they'd already sent uh, one member there preemptively to start doing that. They definitely would oh be able to stop God. them. They ran forward, but yeah, a, a big chunk of damage there. And now it's gonna be here where, again, I, this this flank, very nice. Explosive cast come through. It might send him into the ult of the Kindred, but Night Soul ends up doing that too. Yeah. So uh, no one from TS goes down when maybe the otherwise could have. And then we see the, the the explosions come out from Cream, just consistently getting the resets on those jumps and following through. I really feel like they're fortunate for getting that soul, but hey, yeah. we take that. We take that because you know what? It gets us closer to a game five. There were two avenues there. Knight could have played it defensively with the Emperor's Divide, but he played it aggressively and it uh, delivered a couple big bodies right onto Elk during the Lamb's Respite. And I, I think we have seen a little bit of desync from BLG, which is not something that we normally see. It's been small, it's been in little moments, but it's making the difference right now for top esports. And, and I think that is just really a lot owed to 369, right? Because Knight, Knight might have been looking for that play already, right? He's thinking like, hey, how do I shuffle in Jackie Lover Cream? And then as you're looking for that play, out of nowhere, Gragas comes, gets right on top of Elk. As, hey, we finally get a, a recheck up with Kindred. Actually, he hasn't found that many more marks. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't look at it. It's fine. Only sitting on five. Uh, we got those first four in like the first 15 minutes. I guess, though, he didn't really control out of the map after that point. Now it all just comes down to, once again, one big fight. A lot of tools up for both sides, especially in terms of summoners. Same level of threat not going to be there. We have full items for Jackie Love getting there for Cream. <laughs> Very close for Elk. He will not find the engage just yet, but Top Esports' favorite thing on the map is spawning, and it's got a lot of hands, and it's a big purple worm. And they're going for it, and this time around, they do have ults to turn. When they tried this earlier, they didn't have the Nautilus ult, they didn't have the Maokai ult. Oh, it's already and, gone. Baby. Oh, it's gone? It is already gone. That might just signal the end. That might just see those silver scrapes coming loud and clear. The knight goes in on the back line here. They actually get the reset now as well. Elk is pumping damage. He gets the GA for Jackie Love. This oh. is an ADC tussle. It's going to come down to Elk being that crazy man, but he can't do it. Knight on the other side can't make it out either. And they don't have anything left. Elk going for more. Elk going dead. In top esports, they fight the fight once again, and they come out on top once again. And we see the GA making the difference for Jackie Love coming back to life and they're able to absolutely run the fight. Now you got some decently long death timers on the three real sources of damage for BLG. So Tez, we're gonna see what they could do. I see the base crumbling the moment that top esports seized. 
they have regained their moment they have regained their glory they have heard those silver scrapes calling their name and they see blg as prey in front of the tippy top we're going all five baby it's the upper bracket semi-finals for a reason blg versus top esports silver scrapes on the way i don't get it man like this is a, a magical region and i should get it's it I've been here for many 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 years now the amount of five game series that we get in the lpl ridiculous here we are this is going to be our fifth already in playoffs going the distance and again you couldn't have asked for two better teams to show up and bring us there it took a little bit to get going this was our first really back and forth game in the whole series itself yeah. And now a shot to MSI, a shot to the grand finals relies on one game. You have your GA, you have your lower bracket still available, but the sweetness of locking it in now, of being that final boss, I couldn't ask for a better story to tell. We'll see how this story pans out in game number five. We'll be on the lounge after this break.